So I woke up this morning and I was trying to figure out what I should say, what kind of story I should tell. And I realized I've been doing this with this channel for long enough and I think it's time you guys heard the poop story. Now some of you may know this story already, but bear with me because it, it bears repeating. I just said bear twice. That's three times. So I was eight years old and I was going to Hebrew school at the time and the, uh, the classroom where our classes were held was on the third floor of our synagogue. Now the synagogue used to be someone's house, I guess, and they just uh, did some renovations to it a while back and they made it more synagogue-y, synagogue-esque. I don't know what the proper term for it is. Anyway, our classroom is up here on the third floor, and the class is like maybe eight other kids I got to know pretty well at the time. And I'm not feeling too good that day. I don't know if I had a stomach flu or food poisoning or what, but my stomach was making noise. And I was like, okay, I should do something about this. I should go to the bathroom. So I asked my teacher if I can go to the bathroom, and she says yes, and I bolt out the door faster than I've run for pretty much anything else, I think. Now like I said, the, the classroom's on the third floor, and the only bathroom is on the first floor. So I have to go down two flights of stairs, I run to the bathroom, I open the door, shut it behind me, lock it, get into the stall, close the door, and then, and then everything just went into slow motion and two times fast forward at the same time. It was too fast for me to notice anything happening and it was so slow that I just couldn't help but just feel like that moment was going on forever. And to spare details, I had uh, made a mess in my undershorts. And I, I just don't know what to do. Because they don't train you what to do at this point. And they assume when you're past the age of like three or four, I guess, you know how to go to the bathroom and how to handle yourself. Because that's just normal people stuff. You just know what to do. They don't train you for this kind of incident at this age level. So I, I try to clean up the mess as best as I possibly can, but it's just just no use. If I if I had run down like a second sooner, I probably would have made it to the toilet in time, but I just so I'm like, well, you know, I just gotta deal with this. You know, I only got like 20 minutes left of class, I'll just power through as best as I can. And uh never speak of this again, let alone to an audience of over 2,000 people. So I go back to class and I'm, you know, trying my best to pretend like everything is okay even though I'm sweating like crazy because I'm really nervous and I'm kind of embarrassed as you're entitled to be in this sort of situation, I think at least. And one of the kids, who I won't name in the off chance that he watches this, I doubt it, but I'm not going to take those chances. He, he was one of those kids that was really obnoxious and no one really liked him, but he kind of did it to himself because he was a jerk to a lot of people. And he goes, Does something, does something smell? So, something smells! There's a smell! I don't, I don't like the smell, it's smelly! And everyone was like, alright, yeah, I guess there's kind of a smell, but whatever. And in my head, I was like, they know what I've done. They've known, as soon as I walked in the room, they know. They didn't know, as far as I know. So I get through class okay, somehow. My dad picks me up, and I get in his car, and he just looks at me, and he just says, something smells weird. Do you smell something weird? And so I tell him my situation, and first of all, he's laughing hysterically, because he thinks this is the funniest thing in the world, and I'm like, oh, can we just move on and you help me please? And so we, we go home, and I get changed, and I think that was the moment, like if I had to pinpoint it, that was the moment that my dad started to be disappointed in me as a human being. And so the moral of the story here is that things just happen, and there's nothing you can do about them. Calabra Cadabra.